Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another ultra rare Class B camper van value from Parkway RV Center. And folks, I've been on vacation for a week. I'm back. I'm raring to go. So, uh, figured this is a good one to start with. Uh, these are. I have more requests for these 200 populars uh, road treks and any other type of Class B camper van out there. These are what they call a wide body uh, Class B camper van. And I've had several requests. What's the difference between a wide body? in a regular body Class B camper van. Well, normally the wide body is built on a one-ton chassis over the three-quarter ton chassis. Uh, this particular one is built on a 3500 Chevrolet chassis. And it's wider, of course, hence the wide body. According to factory specs, this is seven inches wider than a standard, like a Road Trek 190 or a 170 or a 210, which is built on a three-quarter ton van chassis. Seven inches wider. Doesn't sound like a lot, folks. I'm going to tell you something. When you're talking about a 20-foot van, that's a, that's a huge difference. They can do a lot more with it. And just one of the benefits of a wide body, in this particular case, is this is one of the few Class B camper vans that makes a 70, uh, 74 by 75-inch king bed in the back. King bed. Folks, you can't even get a king bed in most 30, 31-foot Class C motor homes or Class A's. But this one actually can make either two 6-foot, 4-inch long twin beds or one king bed. So definitely, um, and if you like a big bed to sleep in, you'll definitely appreciate that. Uh, this was what purchased from for sale by owner. Uh, again, folks, one of my viewers, I always say this in any of my Class B camper van videos, Folks, if you've got one of these for sale, we will buy it. We will make you an offer on it and come pick it up. It doesn't matter how far away you live. These vans are such high demand. There's, there's such short supply that I'm willing to send somebody thousands of miles to get one for the right deal. And this picker one, we, we've traveled about 500 miles to get, drove it about 500 miles back. Did great. Uh, it's on the Chevrolet 3500 chassis. It's got the upgraded 8.1 liter Vortec V8, that's huge, folks. That's 340 horsepower. That's the same motor that's in many of these 35, 36 foot Class A gas burner uh, motorhomes. Now, you may think you don't need all that power, but let me tell you the advantages of it, folks. First of all, you're driving several hundred miles on a trip. That motor, especially going up mountains, is not even breaking a sweat. Now, you put a small engine in there, it's straining its guts out. You're having to keep the accelerator on the floor all the time. You're going to burn more fuel, and you're going to wear your motor out. That 340 horsepower engine, folks, at 75, 80 miles an hour is not even not even breaking a sweat, folks. Not only that, but you've got the added advantage. Of, and I'm not. I'm. I, this is just from my memory, folks. I'm going to look it up online and put it on the ad, so don't hold me to it. But if I'm not mistaken, these vans have about an 8,000 pound towing capacity. That's more than a Class C motorhome has because of that extra big engine. So, plus you've got the one-ton transmission, the one-ton rear end, a lot more heavy duty than uh, than your three-quarter ton vans. Now, folks, this unit, the miles aren't bad for one of these vans. It's got 100,024 miles. It just broke 100,000 miles on the way up here um, when we drove it up here. These vans, folks, they're not like big motorhomes. You know, you get these great big motorhomes, folks. 99% of the time, these things are sitting in your driveway, your carport, or wherever you've got it stored at. You know, people only get these big ones out for uh, a week-long trip or a week-and-a-half, two-week-long trip. They don't get them out just for a day or a weekend. People get these vans out for day trips and weekend trips. So they get a lot more miles on them than, say, a big motorhome does. So actually, 100,000 miles is not that bad. And I feel a lot better. I mean, I, it didn't hesitate for me to send somebody 500 miles to get it. That 8.1 liter, to me, if I was going to buy one with miles on it, I'd rather have one with the bigger engine because I know it never has struggled to push this van down the road. Of course, automatic transmission. A uh, lady that had this thing came out of Jacksonville, Florida. 2017 tires. They've got less than 3,000 miles on the tires. It's got a 2.8 Onan generator, runs, got 263 hours on it. Now, right now, folks, I am, uh, it does surge when it's running, so I don't have it on right now. 
Uh, when we go through our standard checkout on this RV for the option A price of $24.9, chances are our carburetor just needs to be clean and the very worst case needs to be replaced. Either one's not, not, not a big deal. Uh, that'll be taken care of, so don't worry about that. Uh, but it's got 263 hours and it does run, but it just surges up and down like most 2.8s do. When they've been sitting for a while with 263 hours on the generator, obviously it doesn't have a lot of use. Of course, this is built by Home and Park, uh, the premier brand of Class B camper vans. Started in 1985. More road treks have been sold than any other brand of Class B camper vans. I mean, these are kind of what pops in most people's mind when you think of a Class B van, and that's a road trek. Uh, this is their flagship model in 2001. Nice van, folks. I mean, it really is. No check engine light, dash air is ice cold. Everything's in here. All the tables are in here. The TV's in here. I mean, it's it's not been stripped. It's in clean condition. And, folks, if you like I said, if you've got one of these for sale, give me a call. I'll make you an offer on it. As long as it's in good shape. Now, if it's junk or it's got issues, I don't want it at any price. I only buy. If, if you can't say it's not at least an 8, 8.5 out of 10, I'm not interested in buying it at any price, even if you gave it to me. So if you've got a nice van like this one, I'll be happy to make you an offer on it and come pick it up. Um, we specialize in these vans. I've got several of them in stock, and this one's only $24.9. Now, folks, these things, brand new, are almost as much as a Class A motorhome. But $24.9, and it's clean, folks. Let me, let me show you inside. The 200 popular has got the third chair in the back. As we step inside, folks, I mean, it's nice and comfortable in here. I mean, look how clean this thing is, folks. No smoke, no pet odors, no water or mold or mildew odors. Solid fiberglass roof so you don't have leak issues. Uh, look up top here. You've got your uh, three skylights, which is a trademark of Road Trek. Look up here in the front. There's your books and manuals on the passenger seat. The plastics on the, um, on the cup holders aren't broken or not cracked. Factory CD stereo, ice cold dash air, no check engine lights, no brake lights, no warning lights, none of that nonsense. Um, a nice rig, folks. Seats look great. Like I said, it's a non smoker owned. The third seat will convert along with the passenger seat into a, uh, a third bed, a single bed. Uh, one of those things just to use if you have to. It doesn't lay down flat. You swivel the front seat around and lean it back up against the dash. And this folds flat, the seat that I'm sitting on. And it makes a little bed, kind of like a recliner. Close this door here, save the air. Uh, of course, front the driver's seat swivels around. It's got a table that sets up right here, so you have eating service for three people right here when you swivel your seats around. There's the table. It's still here. Open this closet up. Of course, windshield cover, and there are your um, table legs, because it's got a rear table too. Got a four cubic foot, three-way Dometic refrigerator freezer. Works great. Microwave. It's got a two-burner stove top. It's got a um, sink. Folks, this has uh, got a hundred and now, and this is off memory off the brochure, up to 114 cubic foot of storage in this RV. And that's huge for a 20 foot camper van, folks. You got to realize this is the same length as your, or actually smaller lengthwise in your average F-150 four-door pickup truck. So if you can drive a pickup truck, if you can drive a minivan, you can drive this little motor home without any problem, shape, form, or fashion. I mean, it's to the point, folks, and I know I may make some people mad when I say this, but it's the truth. If you can't drive, park, and handle this van, then you don't need to be driving a four-door car, much less a motorhome. I mean, it's that easy to drive and park a teenager. A teenage driver can drive and park this thing with ease. And this is a good-looking rig, folks. There's no sagging on the headliner. It's got the padded headliner like all the road treks have. 30-inch um, wide aisle going up to the back. Generator, um, 263 hours. Of course, water heater. 
Um, it's got a DSI six gallon water heater, just like in a class C or a class A. You've got two sofas that face each other. The, the table is right here under the cushion. And of course, you, you've seen the other leg in the closet. It sets up right there in front of those drawers. And this can either make two six foot four inch twin beds or a king size bed. That's thanks to that extra seven inch wide, wide body. Uh, got a 110 electric air conditioner that's ice cold. Uh, good thing about this, Road Trek's pretty smart when they design these things. They realize that you don't need that big 13,500 BTU rooftop uh, motorhome air because it's going to stick up on your roof. You've got to put more holes in your roof. That's less, that's more places you have to worry about leaks. Um, you've got that plastic shroud that stays on top of your roof that deteriorates every few years. You've got to spend 100, 150 bucks and a couple hours labor to replace that shroud every few years. And it cuts down on the aerodynamics. In other words, it's going to burn more fuel. This thing's, these right here get right, even with the bigger motor, still get right around 15 miles per gallon. One of the most fuel efficient motor homes you can buy. And you don't need 13,500 BTU cooling in this small of an area. As a matter of fact, folks, that air conditioner, because it's pretty muggy outside today. It's, it's 84, 85 degrees and muggy. This whole van's comfortable. Um, <coughs> with just a dash here that's why the generators got such low hours because truth be known you don't really even need a generator in one of these vans folks unless you're going to boondock camp and not many people boondock anymore um, at least in these little vans more storage there's your you've got a TV a little flat screen TV on swivel mount right here um, of course it's locked in but got a little TV right there um, Look around the windows, on the fabric, on the walls, there's no water stains. The cushions are immaculate. Carpet looks brand new. Um, and there's really no apologies for it. Now, now folks, I'm not blowing smoke up your rear end. As nice as this van is, I know it's still a 17, uh, I guess 18 year old vehicle now. But for an 18 year old vehicle, I promise you folks, it's an easy nine out of 10 as far as condition wise. Probably one of the nicer 200 populars I've had in a while. Um, of course, you see your toilet. Now, folks, they have removed the shower curtain, um, which we'll be happy to put one in it if you need to. Just let your salesperson know. Many people don't use the showers in here because it's got the hall shower. Not a very popular option unless you're going to boondock, like I said. One of those things to use if you have to. But the way it works, and I'm going to try to show you this in this area right here. you got a drain right here in the floor. You've got a, you're going to see a curtain crack that goes along the roof, and that's where your shower curtain goes. This right here folds out and makes a privacy barrier. And again, folks, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so y'all, y'all forgive me here. And everything fits good. As we step back here, there's your privacy barrier. And you take your shower in the hallway and the water just drains down into the drain. Now, it's just one of those things to use if you have to, not something that's gonna be very user friendly for everyday use, but considering the limited amount of space that you have to work with, that's about as big of a shower as you're gonna get. Now, some of the wide bodies have a side bathroom, but in order to have a completely enclosed side bathroom in this floor plan, you gotta give up bed space. In other words, you gotta deal with a lot smaller bed for a bigger bathroom. So. It's kind of a trade-off. I mean, do you want a room that you're going to use 30, 40 minutes a day for showers and using the restroom, or do you want to, to do you want that and sacrifice something that you're going to sleep eight hours a night in, which is a bedroom? I don't know about you folks. For something 30, 40 minutes a day versus eight hours a day, I'm going to stick with the bigger bedroom instead of the bigger bathroom if I have to choose. Um. Solid wood cabinets. Of course, I've got the factory brochure on the website. Uh, just click on when you click on the listing on the website. It'll have a link underneath the videos for the uh, underneath the pictures and video for the factory brochure. Just click on there and it'll be uploaded. And you can read all the specs and tank sizes and all that stuff to your heart's content. Um, but folks, it's a nice van. 100,000, 24 miles. So actually decent miles. I mean, this thing's got years and years and years of life left to it. 
with that bigger motor folks the, the motor's not straining its guts out it's going to tow if you want to tow something um, it's heavy duty one ton Chevrolet chassis uh, automatic transmission I mean it's it's everything you could want in a van folks and it's 24.9 haggle free that's our option a price I'll go over what all that includes um, option a this is just how it came in uh, besides just a little bit light cleanup option a includes a of course a nice clean 2001 Rotec 200 popular uh, with 2017 model tires on it with that and and it's going to go through an inspection by our certified RV techs that will be completed after purchase uh, after you purchase this RV it's going to go into line to go into our shop and when it gets its way up to the front of the line shouldn't take long right now folks I think we're still on these little vans we can get them done in two weeks or less that's as of today of course you always want to verify that with your salesperson before pulling the trigger and buying this motorhome um, once it works its way to the shop we're going to go through this thing front to back um, we're going to check pretty much everything on it I mean there's a few systems that we don't check uh, like dash airs which obviously work um, we don't cover tires it's got mid 2017 tires look brand new obviously that's not going to be an issue for several more years and we don't cover um, uh, TVs and stereos which stereo works and I'm sure the TV does I mean it's a newer TV than 2001 that's in here so and be honest with you at the worst case scenario if a TV doesn't work you can buy one like that at Walmart for 100 bucks so that's no big deal um, anyway other than that folks we cover everything else on this RV we cover the awning we cover we make sure it's in good shape make sure it's clean if it needs to be replaced or fixed we're going to do that before you pick it up uh, we check the running and driving of it obviously we just drove it 500 miles but I have an ASC certified mechanic that's on our staff that test drives every single one of these RVs see if there's any need for concern and if there's any need for concern it's taken care of before you pick it up before we deliver it uh, we check the refrigerator we check the plumbing the water system we check the propane system make sure everything works the generator we make sure it runs flawlessly and cranks right up uh, we check for leaks uh, which good thing about the way these fans are built there's just so few places these things can leak so few places compared to other brands of RVs these are very low maintenance motorhome folks um, we check the refrigerator of course on all three operations gas battery and we check the uh, propane as well check the air conditioner which I know for a fact works check the microwave all the lights all drawers cabinets all that stuff folks I mean if you want a, a detailed list of everything that we inspect and repair if needed for the price you pay contact our sales department they'll be happy to email you over a copy of that list or fax it to you and you can see for yourself I guarantee you this folks I've been in this business for 20 years and just about every aspect of it there's not another dealer out there that's going to take a 18 year old 2001 model motorhome and put it through the inspection that we do most dealers they sell you one like this just as is where it is not check a thing on it take the good with the bad they don't even give you an option to have it checked but we still put this thing through the same checkout and inspection process as a hundred fifty thousand dollar class a diesel so in other words folks with the option a haggle free firm price of 24.9 when you pick it up there's no issues you're not going to have to take it home put it in the shop right off the bat I mean everything you can take it right to the campground where uh, everything's going to function and way it works after it's been checked out after it's had its final walkthrough by our service manager service manager will call you and set up an appointment to come pick your RV up and get your very important uh, demonstration walkthrough the RV tech that checked it out is going to spend some time with you in this van show you how to operate everything on it uh, show you everything works you can record him he's uh, you're welcome to video to, uh, video record him if you want to uh, he's going to put show you how to deploy your awning how to light everything how to turn everything on how to hook up at the campground if you've got a runabout vehicle he'll help you hook that up as well um, give you tips tricks and pointers he'll show you anything that he had to repair on this van which be honest with you folks I don't think there's anything wrong with this van I mean, I, besides the generator needs carburetor cleaned out 
lady that had this thing has owned it for several years and she just said she never had a need to run the generator and most people don't uh, because you're when you're driving down the road your dash air is going to keep everything cool dash heat you got a furnace in here too if you need it that doesn't require 110 electric so the only th reason you'd run a generator is if you're camping somewhere without hookups and and most people that buy these vans some boondock camp but most majority of you out there are going to stay in campgrounds with full hookups um, but anyway so generator one of those things that very rarely used that's why it's only got that's why it's 18 years old with only 236 hours but anyway folks we'll make sure that performs flawlessly uh, make sure it puts out like it's supposed to uh, and we'll run everything of course like the roof air and all that for several hours just on generator alone plus on shore power as well um, but anyway folks all that's included you get the walkthrough you get the demonstration um, you do get a year of free camping and folks I was going to tell you too uh, I just got back from a week-long trip to Florida um, I tried out to, I took my motor home and we stayed at one of those resorts we just stayed for two nights there before we went to our normal spot um, it was Luna Springs in Orange City Florida that's one of the campgrounds that's in this network of free camping that we give you um, we give you up to 21 nights total to be used in a year time up to seven nights at a time it's absolutely free with the purchase of an RV there's no restrictions as long as you have you have to make reservations of course uh, but there's no uh, no other cost at all involved for you and we stayed at the Luna Springs in Orange City Florida which is about 30 minutes from Daytona about an hour from Orlando and Disney and all that very nice park now it's an older park I'll give you an honest review of it it's about a 30 year old park I like, I personally prefer the older RV parks. The newer RV parks, most of them, they put them in a field with very little shade, very few trees. I like a lot of trees in a campground, folks. It, to me, that feels more like camping. Gives you more privacy, more shade. Plenty of trees, palm trees, everything else like that. Uh, clean sites, pull-through sites. Older pool, but one of the nicest, cleanest, well-maintained older pools I've seen in a long time. Bathhouses were modern, clean, uh, facilities were excellent. I stayed two nights and um, would easily stay there again, folks. And it's a convenient spot, 30 minutes, you can be on the beach. Or you can go an hour, you're at Disney. So uh, it's in a very nice spot. Of course, we stayed, after that, we went to our normal spot, which is Beverly Beach Camp Town, just outside of Flagler Beach, Florida. That's where we normally stay on vacation. Um, but... I'm going to tell you folks, the fact that we're giving you 21 nights for free, and there's several campgrounds like that in the U.S. that you can stay at, that's worth a lot of money, folks. It really is. Uh, really friendly people that run the uh, run that place, they were thrilled to see me since I'm a dealer for them. And, um, I, and uh, I'm going to tell you, folks, it, it, that's a great buy. I mean, that's almost $2,000 worth of camping right there that you get for free. And this is from buying an RV from us. And I check that check it out. If you if you buy an RV from us, I mean I'm not saying you have to use it for 21 nights, but but at least stay there for a few nights, get a feel for it. Um, anyway, that's included, and um, of course you get your uh, temporary tag, good anywhere in the country included. You also get a starter kit with all your camping essentials and instructional DVDs. That's the option A, haggle-free price of $24.9. doesn't matter if you're paying cash, if you're financing, if you're trading. That's the price, folks. There's no other fees. You know, these other dealers, they'll charge you more for the same RV, and then they start adding thousands of dollars in dock fees, prep fees, setup fees, warranty fees, and processing fees, and, set, and freight fees, and get-ready fees, or whatever they want to call them. All those fees are 100% profit, 100% unnecessary to purchase a new or used RV, folks. Don't fall victim to them. Some of these dealers can charge several thousand dollars in fees, and they don't tell you about it until you get ready to sign at the dotted line. Um, so I'll check your paperwork. If you buy from these other dealers, go over those loan contracts. Go over the sales contract with a fine-tooth comb. Take pictures of it with your cell phone in case they give you. I, I've heard of dealers, and I don't know this for a fact. I've heard of dealers having customers sign one sales contract, 
and give them copies of a different one that shows totally different numbers. I've heard of that happening, folks. So take pictures, be prepared, argue the fees. Don't pay those fees, folks. They're unnecessary. Um, and remember, if you finance an RV through an RV dealership, they're marking the interest rate up 2 or 3%. You can rest assured about that. Always check with your own bank for credit union or get online and Google RV financing and check with some of the sources that come up to arrange your own financing before buying an RV. If you finance through one of our lenders, there's no worries. We have zero dealer interest rate markup. The lowest rate we can get you approved for is what you pay. We don't make any money on financing. We offer it as a courtesy to our customers, not as a way to make more profit like other dealers do. Um, no extra fees, no games, no gimmicks, no haggling, no commission salespeople. Folks, we are a family owned and operated for 50 years since 1968. We sell almost 600 used units a year because of our prices. We've got one of the largest in stock selection of used RVs in a 500 mile radius. We've got acres of used RVs, over 140 in total and more arriving every single day. In fact, I got a lot of catch up work to do from where I was off for a week and much more. So folks, you've stumbled across one of the best kept secrets of buying a used RV for the lowest possible price here at Parkway RV Center. I mean, we've been doing this for half a century. We've always been here for you, always gonna be here. And the option A price of $24.9 includes all those features that I just told you about. Now, we do offer an option B, which is you buy the van just like it sits. Uh, no, you know, you don't get a walkthrough, you don't get an inspection. You don't get any of that if you don't get free camping. You don't get, uh, you just buy the RV just like from a for sale by owner or, or like we bought it, as is for better or worse. And for that case, we will discount the price. Financing is available with approved credit. And keep in mind, these vans like this do require quite a bit of money down because you cannot buy these things for what the book value says they're worth. Nationwide delivery is available and more. Thank you. Well, sorry, folks, my battery died on me. Uh, again, folks, nationwide delivery is available. Uh, on the financing aspect of these vans, these vans like this, these older ones, you cannot touch these things for what the NADA says they're worth. The NADA is worthless. I give several thousand dollars over retail for another van this nice and clean to, to buy to resale. You know, NADA is a great source for financing if you want to know how much money you have to pay down. Majority of van, Class B camper van buyers are cash buyers, but if you do have to finance, be prepared to pay ten, twelve thousand dollars down, or maybe even more. That's just because you cannot buy these vans for what the book says they're worth. Don't believe me? Call in ADA. Ask them to find you a nice, clean 2001 Road Trek 200 for what they say, what the what their book value says it's worth. They're going to hang up on you, folks. Um, so keep that in mind. You cannot touch these vans for what the book says. Not even me as a dealer. Uh, can buy these vans for anywhere close to the retail price of the NADA. So that's just the, that's the nature of the beast. You've got an item that there's a hundred people looking for and there's only one or two available for every hundred buyers looking to buy them. Supply and demand dictates the market value, not the NADA. The NADA never has. I'm, I'm not a big fan of them because they don't buy and sell used RVs. They don't have a clue what the real value is in the real world. I've got vehicles out here that are twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars under NADA. Uh, that's just because that's market value. If I try to post it for NADA or, or anywhere close to it, they'll never sell. Uh, same way with these vans, folks. You cannot buy these things for what they said they're worth. If you try to, if you're looking for one of these vans for the NADA, you're going to be looking for a long time. And while everybody else that started looking when you did have already bought one and using it, enjoying it, and been and been using it for several years. In other words, folks, NADA is no good if you can never find one for what it says it's worth. I mean, you, you, you can't. Not even me as a dealer. So, like I said, I, if you've got one of these for sale, I'll make you a generous offer on it if it's in good shape. If it's not in good shape, I don't want it. Um, anyway, give us a call. Phone number 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I just... I've got over 10,000 subscribers, Parkway RV Center on YouTube. Check out our new website, parkwayrvcenter.com. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. 
uh, that's the best place to see my inventory folks don't go to my YouTube channel because I never delete my YouTube videos if you go to my YouTube homepage I've got a link on the picture that says my website click on that that goes to our website I and, and I get calls like this every day folks YouTube is not our website if I if YouTube was our website I'd be living next to Bill Gates worth billions of dollars and not or millions of dollars and um, I wouldn't be doing videos on RVs for a living let me tell you that <laughs> YouTube's not my website uh, go to parkwayrvcenter.com or go to our YouTube homepage and click on the link to our website that's where our current inventory is listed and um, got some really neat interactive features on the website I've got factory brochures on just about everything you can look through videos pictures descriptions um, factory specs and much more and, and anything that you want to know that's not listed call our sales department they're non-commissioned no pressure no haggling no games gimmicks no sales pressure at all because they get paid the same whether you buy one from us or not they're all salary based salespeople I've got four salespeople uh, selling almost 600 used RVs a year so please keep that in mind their time is precious call ahead before coming to look at this RV because I never delete my YouTube videos today is May 29th 2018 obviously uh, if it's more than a month from now this thing's long gone but I have others so before coming any significant distance to look at a used vehicle folks give us a call make sure it's available make an appointment we'll plug it into power run the generator have the air cooled off have the fridge on for you so you can spend some time and, and going back to what I was saying earlier about option A and B a, a is everything checked out no stress no worries 24 9 no gimmicks no surprises ready to go now, option B you can contact us for a price with option B for an as is price take the good with the bad if any bad and I'm not expecting you to make your decision based on my video pictures or description let us know you're coming folks you should do that on any kind of used vehicle just because it's posted online doesn't mean it's available doesn't mean it doesn't have a deposit on it always call ahead before traveling any distance make sure it's here make an appointment um, you can come look at this thing you can inspect it you can test drive it and then decide if you want to do option A or B and this happens a lot folks people come up here that want to do the option A well they spend a couple of hours they test drive it they spend a couple of hours in the RV and they said you know what everything on it works I'll just take it option B get the discount take it home with me today um, and that happens quite often folks so uh, come look at it of course come test drive it come meet us shake our hands look at our facility that's the way buying and selling should be I love the internet folks it's, it's made our business grow substantially in the last several years everybody local knew we had the best prices now everybody globally knows we have the best prices so it's definitely increased our buyers base I just met some people that that traded in a fifth wheel on a motorhome from Montana this morning they drove all the way down here from the state of Montana to buy from us so keeping that in mind folks you know we sell these things all over the country we have nationwide delivery available I wouldn't hesitate to drive this van just like it sits anywhere in the country um, it's a nice van and I think if you come look at it in person you're gonna agree with me give us a call 706-965-7929 uh, evenings and Sundays only of course 423-605-6747 our website parkwayrvcenter.com got a 24-7 chat feature on there that's always answered by a live person um, you can send us an email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com or simply click the contact us link on on our website on any of our listings and we'll get back to you as soon as possible Thank you again for watching. Any questions, call us, email us. Better yet, visit us here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Very few people come down here that are serious buyers and don't see something they want to buy. Very few people don't see something they want to buy. I don't just buy anything to put in our lot. After 50 years in business, we have connections that other dealers can only dream about. And if it's not nice, we don't buy it to resell now we'll trade if you've got a project or, or a camper that needs some work we'll trade for it we've got a back row bargains lot that's got our old trade-ins that need work that you can save a lot of money buying there but uh, if it's on our lot and we buy it to sell it's got to be nice or we don't buy it uh, so anyway folks if you've got one of these vans for sale let me know I'm a buyer 
Uh, if it's nice, if you want to some buy this one, come let us know. You're going to not you're not going to be disappointed. Uh, thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.